What up guys, welcome back to a brand new Paragon video, my name is Huang aka Back2 and I'm super stoked to have you here. Today we're gonna walk through what actually Epic Team, the Paragon team specifically released some inside notes regarding what's the direction and the future of Paragon. Before we begin, I, I want to say and I want to thank the Paragon team for doing this because I feel right now in the atmosphere of the game there are some misconceptions about where the game is heading and I think that's due to many big changes they implement through the last this year actually that's going to be soon the la the, the past year okay since we're getting <laughs> into uh, 2018 so I want to thanks to them because this help every the, the community in general to understand what Paragon is going to be what the epic and Paragon team actually want from the game and what they want to deliver to the community, okay? So I'm pretty excited to actually review this, to walk through it, and I'm really thankful for the Paragon team. So let's jump ahead. The direction and future of Paragon. It's been some journey this year. Big changes in some places, small changes in others. All changes marching toward the path of full release. Here's a quick general recap of 2017 in no particular order. Uh, I just want to say that, yeah, I feel that they have done a lot of big changes and I have said this in other of my videos, it's one of my biggest concerns. I know the game is in beta, but I feel, to be honest, that they need to actually release it note okay this thought or clarification i don't know how to call it because they know in some point of their road developing this game they didn't have a direction where to go regarding the game so first we have a game that was so different i'm talking about the stage of legacy legacy was so different from what we have now is really different and Paragon and Epic Team have implemented so many big changes that actually change the core of the game. The core of the game in Legacy is so much different from what actually we have today. That doesn't mean it's bad, I'm just saying that it's different, okay? For some people it's bad because maybe they don't feel uh, uh, attached to that kind of game that we actually have right now and for others is really a uh, appealing game to play with okay for me in my own video i'm still enjoying paragon at certain point i felt lost in paragon because i didn't have fun in a certain stage of paragon that it was between the new car system and the new monolith changes and so forth i i, I felt the game was really broken it, it didn't have any sense but after these last patches version 44 version 42 version 43 i gotta say they actually regain what make paragon a really fun game in in my opinion okay but anyway they have done a lot of work i i, I gotta say that that I cannot argue against that. They have done a lot of work. They have tried a lot of things, and that's why they need like to actually show what they have done during this year. They have changed the build release process. That's, that that's a lot to take. Overhaul the new the, the menu and the UI. Create a new intimidation system. Added all R and polish to monolith map. Reward the jungle create a new mastery system, add quests, create new minions, create... There's a lot of things that they did and I know that's a lot of time, effort, and that you need really a really compenetrated team in order to deliver this time of changes, okay? And I feel that they have done a great work regarding the effort that they have put at the time that they have put into delivering these changes, okay? And I want to say thank you for the Paragon team to actually care about what the community might think and that's why they actually need to clarify 
where the game is heading okay so that's pretty cool rework nine legacy heroes release 11 new heroes and we're gonna get a uh, 12 hero uh, before the 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 years comes to an end next year we're releasing paragon out of open beta and into a full worldwide launch this is huge news so they don't say specifically when that can happen <laughs> early in the year mid year or maybe the late year we don't know but they actually are setting up and they actually are given an exact year for the full release of the game in my own opinion uh, i really like paragon but i feel some core features of the game need to be balance uh, maybe maybe at some point they need to rework them in order for be a more sustained game i don't know I've, i i really feel that they need to 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 keep that in mind and to actually review that before implementing new changes they need to actually rebalance the game first and keep delivering new content afterwards okay because I feel that they keep delivering new content, they keep delivering new modifications, they keep delivering new changes, uh, uh, and they really are not taking into consideration what they're actually already, what they create, and what actually they already deliver. So, I think they, they need to look at that before actually moving forward into the full launch. That's my opinion. What does that mean for you and what major features are left to work on game direction and uh, this is it guys we're gonna actually know what uh, uh, what the epic and paragon team wants from this game and where are they heading and what they want to do with the game our visions for paragon to be gratifying fluid and fun that doesn't say much but okay all the scientists issues are meant to create a moba okay they finally said it we want a moba where you are taken into the thick of battle and the choices you make determine if you win or lose. So, like I say in my other videos, the how the game is been driving into a more hero versus hero combat rather in, than enhancing the mobile features of the game. So we're basically talking about, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like a fighting game, I guess, with MOVA features on it. But it doesn't seem that the MOVA is the key feature of the game. The thick of the battle seems the key feature in this game, okay? We're building on the core MOVA pillars that you have grown to know and love, while also carving a new path that clearly defines Paragon. And that's the hero versus hero combat feature that I have been spoken of. We think we're closer than ever to creating that unique Paragon experience. And I have to agree with that, okay? I think they felt that during the row of developing the game, they say, okay, we have a problem, we don't know where we're heading, and we need to sit down and actually decide what we're going to do, and start working on that. And now I feel they actually have a destination to go for. So that's pretty cool. That doesn't mean we won't shake things up a bit more before launch. Getting here hasn't been easy and we thank all of you for coming along for the ride. We have always openly stated that Dragon is the truest form of a beta and the big changes we have made along the way are a reflection of our interactive development process. And yeah, I gotta say, they have tried everything, okay? They have <laughs> implemented so many changes in the game that I gotta say, they really review up the options, okay? They really did. It's all done in an effort to make sure we build the very best game that we can by leaving no stone unturned. We believe games are fun and you should be having fun playing them. We want to continue being happy, hopeful, and helpful in your part of shaping Paragon's future. If you are unhappy with where the Paragon is headed, let us know and we will make it right. You can continue helping forge Paragon Future by hopping in game or joining this culture on any of our official channels. And they put a picture of what used to be monolith. And you can see this is how it used to be and now what it looks like. I gotta say, 
the art gra and the, the art and the graphic on Paragon is really amazing. I really like it. It's one of the things that you really love about Paragon that no other MOBA has. I I, I gotta say, no other MOBA right now in the market has the art and the visual graphics that actually Paragon has. Okay. New matchmaking system. Oh my god, I was expecting this for so long. We have been testing the new monolith monolithic matchmaking service internally since the summer. We know that you are itching to get more high quality matches, so are we. The system is close to being complete, so close in fact that the version of a new matchmaking system powers Fortnite Battle Royale matchmaking. I haven't played Fortnite. Uh, I, actually, I played sometimes a uh, player on Battlegrounds. I, it, it seems really solid the matchmaking in in players battle on on, on now in Pochi, but in Fortnite I haven't played. I don't know how the matchmaking actually is. How is the experience of the matchmaking in Fortnite? If you have played Fortnite and you can share with me some comments do it so in the comment section i will appreciate it so, so to have some I some idea regarding the matchmaking of our night we're anxious to get it working in paragon in the new year okay ranked oh my god please say that you're going to deliver rank you promise that this year you delay it because you were focusing on actually where you're heading right now please say that you're going to deliver rank <laughs> I'm really craving for rank system in the game. I think that's going to make a huge impact in the in the ex game experience and everything regarding Paragon. Many of you are looking for the next level of competition in Paragon, and rank is a major piece of the competition pie. We agree. We agree with you and want to raise the bar competition in the game. I. How long does this video take? It's in seven minutes. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Afterwards, I encourage you to go and watch it. I haven't watched it. This is the tournament recap. I think I watched it before, but anyway, I think the, uh, this video was actually taken before the new itemization system was released. So we're talking about the old itemization system, okay? Rank is important part of competitive play and pulling together all the pieces to make it happen is a top tax next year. We'll be working on the rank draft experience, properly displaying your rank status and making sure the new matchmaking system gives you the best possible higher bounded matches. Okay, that's good. I think the main thing is the matchmaking system. You, they really need to put that into the system, into action in the game. They, they, they need to fix the matchmaking. Sometimes I've encountered people that I actually feel like this is like the second time they play in the PvP. I, I don't know. It, it's just weird. And most of the time I play solo. I don't play with friends. Most of the time I play solo. So I feel the matchmaking needs a lot of effort in order to actually fix it. New heroes. Terra is the last hero in 2017. I think they're going to do, to, to actually release uh, a sneak peek regarding Terra. Next year, at least seven new heroes will join the battle and a religious carol for those who will come. Seven heroes, if you compare seven heroes to 12 heroes that we actually got in 17, they're actually understanding more about the game. And I think that's okay. I really like that the number seems pretty logic since what I feel that one of the biggest mistakes of Paragon and the Epic team is actually they rush themselves too much in delivering to new heroes and so forth and they didn't test them enough. So every time that they release a hero it was really OP, the, 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 uh, it was part of the meta and I know we're gonna have meta heroes every time. I, I know between balance changes and, and everything, I know we're gonna have heroes that are in the meta, but I feel that they have to concentrate more in the limited quality content than making a lot of it, okay? Making a, delivering a lot of content doesn't mean you're gonna get quality content. So taking a, bre a breath, okay, a deep breath, and say, okay, we need to go down, we need to be more realistic in what we're actually going to deliver for next year, I think it's a big step for Paragon, that they actually realize that they need to 
calm down a little and then okay we're going to release a more realistic and um, and, and with a new delivery system more realistic to what we can offer in order to have a standard of quality okay because i think that's one of the biggest mistakes they rush themselves too much they push themselves too hard and they actually at some point they lost the track of what they want to do so that's really harsh that's really difficult for a developer to actually acknowledge that they won't do it but this is kind of like a way to do it before the community and that takes a lot Oh, you gotta be a really, really brave team in order to do that, and I, I, and I really appreciate it, and you should too. All the heroes should be fun to play, adding new exciting gameplay in the moments you remember to Paragon. We want you to have a good time playing new heroes, and an even better time becoming master of your favorite heroes. This is uh, the far iron at the sneak peek for the new hero that's going to be released on 2018 this is the first hero to be released on 2018 okay this is not terra so that's why wait for the sneak peek okay new cars and gems cars and gems add additional strategy and depth to the gameplay we know you want more variety yeah we do in builds that allow you to surprise your opponents and provide plenty of counterplay there are a lot of new cars and gems slated for the new year that will give you a lot of options in combat we can't wait to share them all yeah we definitely need new cards new gems mostly gems really right now the gem system is so simple and everybody having the same gems i, I feel cards you can actually mix it up a little bit but gems we really need gems soon game balance the dynamic nature of moba is what draws us in a, and keep us playing each day we know you care deeply about the game balance and so would and so do we game balance will always change and it's core to paragon succeeds that's current we are releasing balance passes on a three-week schedule and we need to take care of big balance issue that negatively disrupt the games okay i don't know if these time frame that actually they are telling us a three week schedule i don't know if that's too long but like i say if they are going to deliver quality content okay and that include quality balances then that's okay for me okay i don't want to have balances like they deliver a balance and then the game is on balance again okay no if you're going to deliver balance okay you need to be sure that you actually balance in the game no n not like for example like iggy they they try to buff iggy they nerf iggy they they then they rework iggy but when they rework iggy he was so op that nobody can kill him now then they nerf it and now they buff it like it's just crazy that's just an example that happened with older heroes so if you're going to actually deliver balances in a three week basis do it right like okay if you're gonna take this amount of time it's because you're going to deliver quality content okay and that is and that include a balance that has that is current a balance that actually fix things in the game that's my opinion uh we're releasing the balance like i say big balance issue that never disrupt your game you can expect us to continue that pace of balance changes next year other major features in development, new onboarding and tutorial, that's good. I, I include some friends that they didn't play uh, MOBAs at all. And I gotta say the tutorial are really good in Paragon. Not like in other MOBAs, okay? Uh, that Actually, the tutorials are really simple. The tutorials in Paragon, I feel that they have a really good depth in, in how they explain things to newcomers, to new players. And I really like that. Social system, they talk about clans, that's pretty good. Well, for competitive reasons, this is awesome. Making clan, I'm probably, I will make my own. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna make my own clan. This is new, this is awesome. New events, competition, lots of VO. VO means voiceovers. So you know that 
heroes, currently heroes, some of them has voiceovers, not others, others lack of, of voice. So they're actually what they're saying is they're going to implement these voiceovers into the hero. That's pretty good. Global launch, close alpha testing in Asia is already underway. Alpha testing in Asia is already underway. There is a lot of legwork needed to make sure that we can support multiple regions around the world. We have needed to we have needed to make and we will continue to do so changes to the game to be more mindful of a global audience. Some changes you have seen reflect global feedback we have received. We believe making Paragon better for everyone around the world makes for a better game in the long run. That's okay. Next year begins a big push to ramp up Paragon. When it's time to put our foot on the gas pedal, we will need your help to spread the word. We are excited for the future and cannot wait until 2018. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we will release on other platforms too. Okay, they are definitely talking about Xbox. They're, we have right now in the PC, we have in the PS4, definitely they're going to release it in, in, on Xbox. If they want to get into a bigger audience, of course they need to release it on Xbox. Okay, I don't see Paragon being released in mobile just yet, but I, I really think, yeah, this is Xbox, what they mean. That's pretty good. That's pretty good because we're gonna have a, a bigger community okay and one of the key features that i feel of, of paragon that is awesome is that you actually can play it through different platforms for for example if you're playing on pc you can play on pc and with your friends that don't have a pc for example but they have a ps4 that you can play with them that's really awesome okay i really like that if they include that in the xbox that's huge, and uh, and that's gonna be really big for Paragon, okay? But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up in my conclusion regarding this note that they actually released. I was expecting that so long, because I felt at some point, and I'd say it before, the Paragon team lost their track regarding what game they were developing, and they didn't know where the game was heading, and actually I feel now and have been saying this on, in, on my old videos it seems like they want to have a, a, a game more focused on hero vs hero combat focusing on the combat feature of a MOBA with some MOBA mechanics okay like for example the towers uh, having the teams and so forth what my expectation and what I would like to see as a content creator as a, a small content creator, <laughs> but anyway, as a content creator, it's to have these changes to actually affect the skills of a player, okay? So that will make sense in the rank system. They say they're gonna deliver a rank system. I hope that rank system doesn't go along with Agora, for example. Like, if you win or lose, then you have uh, uh, ELO in, in, the, in the game. I feel that a MOBA is more about what decisions you make and how that uh, decisions affect your team. So that's where the game should be focused on, okay? Uh, saying that, actually, just bring it to the table that if you are a skillful player who make really good decisions, then you, you should be in a higher ELO, okay? And play and playing with other people who actually have the same way of thinking and the same way of a skill, okay? Rather than just win lose relation. So, well, guys, if you like this video, remember to subscribe. I would really love if you leave me a like, and I see you next time. Peace.